Hello Grade 8, Mr. G here and as requested we are going to be uh, making some videos related to the particle model of matter. This topic is quite important because you are going to do it in Grade 10, you are going to do it in Grade um, 11 and you need it for Grade 12. You are not going to do it in Grade 12 but you do need it to know for that uh, grade. Okay, So it is an important topic. Now particle model of matter, there are certain points you must uh, you must know that. So let's go to the first point. This first point says that all matter consists of small particles. When they say all matter, remember matter is anything or is everything that has mass and take up some space. It's anything. that has or have mass and take up sorry let's fix that up some space so that is matter it is important to know what matter is and then matter is composed of anything that has mass and take up a space and everything is made of small particles. So, let's say we have a piece of wood, a piece of anything, a piece of anything. There are small particles inside that piece of matter. So, matter is anything that has mass and take up some space that was done previously and you need to know that matter consists of a small particles. That is the first important thing. The second point said that there are empty spaces between the particles. So, if we use the same example, we can see there that there are spaces, I color in the spaces between the particles. You can see here a back, you can see the white part, all those are the spaces between the particles. And there is always going to be some space between the particles. It is very, very little space, but there are some spaces between those particles. So that is important. That is the second point related to the um, particle model of matter. Now, the second, the third point is that the third point say that those particles are moving all the time. They are constantly in motion. So we're going back. The first say that all matter consists of small particles. Those particles no necessarily have to be atoms. They could be atoms, they could be molecules, they could be ions. Okay? There are empty spaces. You can see the spaces there between the particles I draw. There is empty spaces between those particles. And the particles are all the time moving. So these particles are going to be vibrating the inside that Saturn. They're moving all the time. Okay? That is point number Three. We're going to point number four. The fourth point states that there are repulsive and attractive forces between the particles. So they repulsive mean they pushing away. So there are forces that push away the particles sometimes. We're going to speak about that in details later on, not just now. And there are attractive forces, forces that keep those particles together. So those particles have forces that keep them together. If we use the same example, we can say, for example, this particle here is held together with other by a force. Those forces are called bonds, and you will learn about that later. And so this one, and this one, and that one there. So the forces that keep those particles together are called attractive forces. Okay, and then we are going to the last point of this uh, kinetic molecular theory of matter. And this one state that, the last point state, state that these particles are arranged different in a solid, liquid and gas. So, everything is the same, but they have different arrangement in solid, in liquid and in gas. So, let's see this one real quick. So, here we have the same material in the three different states. So what is going to happen? The distance between the particle is going to change. So as the uh, substance moves from solid to liquid, the distance between the particle is going to be greater and as well as it moves from liquid to gas. Later on, you will learn more in details these three different states, but you can see that they are arranged differently. So recalling the whole video, first of all, um, 
the particle model of matter state that point one all matter consists of small particles okay so everything is made up of little small particles that you cannot see there are empty spaces between the particles and now empty means nothing there is nothing between the particles that is a vacuum there is not a there is nothing between those particles okay there is empty space like in the space the particles are constantly moving those particles are moving they move and they move differently in three different states we'll, we'll speak about that later on and they are there are repulsive and attractive forces between the particles the, the forces that keep those particles together later on we'll speak about the difference between them and then the final point is that those particles are arranged different in three different state of matter solid liquid and gas so this is all about this particle model of matter i hope it helped if um, you think it helped sum up and um, thank you you can ask question you can suggest um, thank you for watching a good luck